Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, so we get a little behind-the-scenes look here at LSU performing some movement drills with different water bags. So someone sent me this video, asked my opinion of it. LSU is typically one of the better offensive teams in the country. I love the way they swing the bat. They've been trained very well, taught very well. And so let's look at these two drills. So we have one hitter here. She's going to do a little shuffle as she loads this small water bag up and back. She's going to turn her body and now she's going to feel the water bag turning. So she's going to get that top hand palm up, bottom hand palm down. We talk a lot about turning the triangle. So she's getting that triangle turned. The lead arm is working up. We see so many hitters have the lead arm work down, but she's having the lead arm work up, the rear arm work under, and she gets into this position right here. And now she feels that palm up staying through contact, but notice how she's also working on staying over the plate. She's in good posture and she holds it right there. Now we have another hitter on the other side with a little different contraption. It looks like it's probably a water bag as well. But she's holding it differently, but in this one, you can see her leg, her rear leg is starting to turn forward, but her upper body is working back. So again, I don't know exactly what they're working on, but for me, this is taking the arms out of it, working on, on letting the lower body turn, letting the upper body work back, not pulling off the ball, but working more north-south with the upper body. Again, staying in good posture, staying over the plate. There are some people that will talk about deceleration, so being able to decelerate. You can see how they're sticking their finish. They're holding it. Again, they're not pulling off. I think when you stay in good posture and you work your upper body in the right manner, it allows you to decelerate better, to be able to stay on the ball. So two interesting drills. We do similar things. I have not seen this particular water bag. We have a bunch of water bags in our facility. And I would even experiment and do this drill in different ways. She picks the water bag up very quickly. I'd actually be interested if she left it there just a little bit longer and didn't start to make this move until about right here so she could feel the upper body resisting back as she starts to stride forward right there. All right, so that little bit of a shuffle gives you an exaggerated feel of of moving forward, of getting your lower body moving forward during the stride. And then again, resisting the upper body back against that and then feeling the leg turn as the upper body works north-south and getting palm up, palm down into the hitting zone. So I'm not saying that this is wrong. I'm just saying I would experiment maybe even getting that bag up a little bit later so we can really feel that resistance and we can feel that stretch across our body as we're resisting back and we're moving forward. But still, I like the drill, I like the idea. I always think it's really helpful to have some drills. I know some people online don't like it. They just want you to put a bat in your hands and swing it. That's obviously a huge part of becoming a better hitter. But I do think that when you wanna work on some of these movements, sometimes it's good to get the bat out of your hand, especially if you don't do them already. If you don't make these movements, it's hard sometimes to feel the adjustment that needs to be made when you have a bat in your hand because your body sees the ball, it has a bat, and it's just going to do what it's always done. But if we're trying to change the way your body moves, I found that getting the bat out of the hitter's hand, giving them something else to work on those movements will improve them. And then after we go through the drills without the bat and we do this over and over again and we reprogram the body how to move differently and then we put the bat back in the hitter's hands, all of a sudden those movements that we have been working on start to transition over to the hitter when they have the actual bat.
So if you're not doing some of these drills, I definitely recommend that you do some. And we have an entire med ball series. We have a whole lot of drills in our Building the Elite Swing course. If you click the description box below, we have over 50 drills that will help you improve the core principles of your swing. If you haven't watched our videos before, make sure you go back and watch the other videos. We talk about the core principles. Again, in the course we do as well in much more detail, but you can go on our YouTube channel and find out more and see if you agree with them. And then if you want to learn more, you can definitely pick up that course. So hopefully this helps. LSU again does a great job. Follow their stuff if you don't. And that's all I have. We'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And good luck.